Hello, welcome pen friends. Welcome to Chris's Inked Pens for October 2022. Um, I've got a lot of excitement about it because I've chosen an ink brand, but we'll get to that on the second phase of the video. First, I'm just going to run through and show you which pens I selected. We've got a kind of a funny reason for one of them, but <laughs> and then one that got left off because I it turned out I really want to work out some problems with it first. Um, I don't usually do that. I just go with what I chose, but anyway, I'll explain that as we go along. So first up, we've got the Jin Hao 159 and I have got like my favorite nib on this it's it this one happens to be with the gold trim which I prefer the silver trim all around the year except for in autumn like this where we're going into fall so I picked the Yowo broad nib that has a gold and silver tone I thought it just looked really nice and it was the nib I wanted at least I wanted a broad nib on it so then next up is a little Mont Blanc I think this is a it's Meister, Meister Stuck, and I think it's a 145. It was a gift from a pen friend. It's a little uh, petite pen with a nice medium uh, gold nib on it. So, and it, I, funny enough, I wanted red ink in this because I had such a good experience with Sailor Grenade in this. So I'm not sure how this will compare, but... <laughs> It's funny what the brain will do when we're making choices and why we make choices like we do. Okay, this was supposed to be my birthday pen, but I just couldn't, like, I couldn't put it away. Um, <laughs> so this is the Hong Dian uh, Black Forest Rainbow uh, pen with a Fude nib. And I, I, maybe I will clean it up and wrap it up. That's, I probably will, because my birthday's not till December, but... I just kept looking at this and it, it, it's gorgeous and I have such a good experience with um, the other Hong Dian Black Forest Purple with the Fude nib so I, I kind of wanted to find out how, how this one compared. And then next up is a Lamy Safari in the Dark Lilac with the 1.5 Lamy nib. I just can't get away from it. I love that nib. It's now become, I think I can honestly say, my favorite stub nib. Um, which kind of gets to me and I keep tossing it back and forth in my mind because I really do like the Goulet 1.5 stub nib uh, on the Gen Hao X750 but overall my experience with the, the Safari with this nib I like it better I, I can't tell you yet why it's too soon I guess <clears throat> it's just been hmm, a couple months that, or maybe even less than a couple months that I've been using it so next up, let's see if I can get this right. This is the Moon Man uh, M600S with a um, with the tiger's eye finish. And it just screams autumn to me, you know, fall. And so I put on the black Goulet, I think that's a broad nib. Yeah, it better be. That's what I was aiming for. A Goulet broad nib on this one. Okay. And then this is the pen that I was talking about. This is the one that's an accident. I wanted the nib that's on this uh, Gen Hao X750 on a different pen, and I couldn't get the nib off, which is bad news for me because this is a Nemesine 0.8 stub nib, which I'm in love with, and I want to see it other places. I don't have another one yet of it. I'm not even sure you can get one. And um, it won't come off. But I didn't take the section pliers. I didn't get crazy because I wasn't feeling particularly lucky. So I just left it on here and, and I'm trying the actual same ink I wanted to try with the nib in a different pen nib holder, so to speak. So anyway, long story short, not very short. <laughs> okay, and then next up is uh, the Twisby Eco in the transparent blue with a broad nib that writes a little bit between a medium and a broad but I wanted this particular ink with something that had blue so I'd know this was the one it was in and so that's what I chose and then uh, last but not least is a Twisby Go with a broad nib okay and it's the clear Twisby Go and I thought this, uh, I, kn I knew this nib and, and this writing experience would be fine and great for letter writing. So um, 
I have several pans from September that need to be cleaned out. And uh, I didn't want to repeat anyway too much, although I can see I keep grabbing this pan. Um, and I've been onto that one <laughs> recently too. So, okay, let me show you the one that didn't make it. I was so gung ho about this uh, Gen Hao X159. And uh, I put a good ink in it, which we'll talk about as soon as I reveal the ink brand. And the nib needs work. So, and I, it's a ink I absolutely know is okay. So I was thinking, I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I think what I was thinking was this is not going to end up being used right away. It's going to have to be troubleshot first. Um, so it's a little bit backwards. And when I do my early impressions video, it, I will tell on that problem that I had. So Coco is next to me. He's been enjoying the window, but now he says there's something more exciting happening here. Mommy is making a video. So, Okay, so without any further ado, my October inks are all noodlers. It was going to be diamine, but I like to save diamine for December. I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to explore the, uh, the diamine ink vent. I, I'm just a little foggy for that many reasons. I, th I, I believe, unless I misunderstood, that there is an ink uh, well, there were two pen friends that had mentioned sending me samples, and I've got to get on the ball with uh, with that. If but you know, I know how much work that is, so I got all clogged up in my mind. But I know that I want to do diamine in December, even if it's diamine that I have on hand or some of the ones from 2021 ink vent. So anyway, what we're gonna do is go right through them and do writing samples in my Tomoy River 68 GSM. Bond Travel Gear Ink Journal. So I'll, I'll set up for that and be right back. Okay, so first up in the Gen Hao uh, 159, Coco is just determined, you stay there for a minute, Coco. It's okay, or maybe a little more than a minute, but I, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, with the broad nib, he's such a good boy, he really is. He's been, you know, pulling closer, of course. Um, and this is a uh, Noodler's Golden Aspen. It's a 2017 Colorado Pen Show. And you know what? I don't have the the proper indicator of who sent this. I'm if I guess I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I know who sent it, but thank you. And I will uh, if I can find the other um, little color index where it has it, I will be able to attribute these inks cuz some of these were gift samples. So this is Jen Hao. Oh, I love this ink. It's so pretty. 159 with a broad Yowo nib and noodlers. Golden Aspen. I have a feeling this is probably not available, but I'm not sure. Um, that's something that I like to check for our progress reports, that's when I really dive into that kind of thing. But it's just a nice, juicy, you know, kind of a deep orange. And it's it's looking a little too bright on the camera. Uh, I really hate that, <laughs> that I can't seem to get good, uh, precise color. But we all know that that's a thing. <clears throat> Even when we go ink shopping, it's a thing. So next up is the little Mont Blanc with... Noodler's Tokyo Gift Cherry Blossom. It's a red. I was just bent on getting another red ink in this because I liked <laughs> Sailor Grenade so much. So here we go. This is a nice soft nib, just slightly soft. It's a little bit bouncy and uh, I really like it. You know, I thought it's Halloween or it's October, which evokes Halloween and I need at least one red ink. I think oh one four five oh Master, Master Stark Classique. The name of this pen has always gotten to me, but um I have it in my pen inventory so I'll have to look it up for the description. Tokyo gift cherry blossom. At least he's got a window with a nice pad and he just moved over, Coco did, to his little place beside me in a, a captain's chair with a nice little 
bed in it. <clears throat> he likes to stay real close. There we go. And I like it too. <laughs> He's been following me around. <laughs> Poor thing. Okay, so next up is the beautiful Noodler's Cactus Fruit Eel in the beautiful rainbow pen. And I just thought that you you got to do that. You got to. <laughs> so here we go. It's the Food A Nib. Oh, I just love it. I, I absolutely am crazy about this these nibs. So let me see if I can get this right because I get it wrong most of the time, the name. Hong Dian. Black Forest Rainbow Food A with Noodlers Cactus Fruit Eel. I have a full bottle of this now. I loved it so much I just had to. Um, these two are samples, so I should be saying that because that's for some reason, I think that's important. This is just a, it's a gorgeous kind of a, what would you call it? I wanted to say magenta, but for some reason looking at it, it just totally leaves me. Um, <laughs> of course, right when I need to think straight, I can't. Okay, next up is the Noodler's Purple Mountain Majesties. This is another one. This is one that I do remember. Um, my pen friend sent me a sample and then I, um, was Leah, and then I got, I bought the bottle almost immediately. I just was cr just crazy about it. And uh, since the Noodler's inks are a more expensive, I mean, more, uh, more inexpensive, more affordable than some, I don't always uh, bat an eye <laughs> as closely, you know, I don't, um, I don't hold back as much on their inks. <clears throat> so Lamy Safari. And it is uh, the dark lilac pen. I had to buy this on eBay because I came into the hobby and then after that it was sold out kind of quickly and <clears throat> and I wanted it really a lot. So, okay, 1.5. And Noodler's Purple Mountain majesties very nice it's you see how much darker and, and uh, fuller that purple is <clears throat> okay next up is the moon man <clears throat> m600s with my favorite nib my uh, oh no this isn't the favorite nib we, we passed that on the Jen Hao. This, but this is one of my favorite broad nibs. It's a Goulet black nib. And Noodler's Golden Brown, which has some water resistance, which I, I love. And I just, I really kind of fell for this ink when I was, um, when I was going over it for some kind of mini review, I think. <clears throat> and I bought a bottle of this one, too, some time ago. Moon Man M600. S. Broad Goulet and Noodler's Golden Brown. I kind of checked myself because I realized I was choosing quite a few uh, similar inks and we'll look at the tiles uh, in a minute, but they're all very unique. It's just that at the surface <laughs> it looked like, what am I doing picking all, all similar, you know? I picked like four, I think, that were could be considered in the brown-orange family. <clears throat> okay, let's see. There we go. Very nice. I can see that we've got some good letter writing already lined up here. <clears throat> okay, then next is the brown. I re This is a sample that I got uh, from... Um, my pen friend Cassandra and I know that I'm at the end of the sample but I, I remember really liking this I don't think it's available but it's a really pretty brown it's got a lot of water resistance so I put it in the Gen Hao X750 
Um, I wanted a brown and I wanted to stick with noodlers. And there were a couple choices, but this is the one that, that came out for me <clears throat> that I picked. Okay, so we've got Jin Hao. I'm not sure. I, I have this feeling as I try this out initially that I'm not going to quite like this ink quite as much as I like the Sailor 50 States Texas, but this does have a little more hardiness and water resistance. So it's good for me to get out of my, <laughs> you know, comfort zone or whatever you want to call it every now and then. 50 with a 0 0.8 Nemesine. Like I could read Nemesine if it was on there. I, I can't read anything that small. Okay, so Noodlers... Chisholm Trail. Trail. And it's a Drom Ghouls exclusive. Or was. I can't say for sure, but I don't think this is available either. Huh. I probably should have picked... Oh, oh that's... Okay. Yeah, well, it's just a little drier than what I experienced the Sailor Ink in the same nib. But this is probably... A, this is a different pen, so... Comparing apples with oranges. <laughs> okay, and this is one of my all-time favorites. I've used over a half bottle of this one. This is Noodler's Navajo Turquoise, and I put it in a pen I knew I was going to get along with, the Twisby Eco, with a broad nib. Let's see. We have to adjust things here so you can continue to see. <clears throat> okay. probably going to just end up adding that Gen Hao X159 um, as a ninth pen because I know myself I'm going to want to get that issue ironed out. Twisby Eco Blue Transparent. Oh, I'll tell you this is a good ink nib combination because I was complaining forever that this was more like a medium nib, but it's coming nice in here, so. Uh, it acts like a broad nib with this ink. Good deal. Noodlers. Oh, okay, well, I'm going to put Navajo Turquoise, because that's what my bottle says. And then we'll talk about that. We'll make our little X, and then we'll give you the new name. So, um... A Noodler's Navajo Turquoise was recently renamed Turquoise of the Mesas. Turquoise. T-U-R-Q-U-O-I-S-E. Okay, I guess I did spell it right. So we're going to put new name equals Turquoise of the mesas and um that is the new uh recent name i let's see i'm not sure what the new label looks like if it's different or anything probably not i i'm not sure but i did notice that noodlers and or that goulet and noodlers have you know are back on and noodlers is now carrying i mean goulet is now goulet pens is now carrying noodlers again which i'm very happy about because i was really Really kind of, you know, sorry about all that. But glad that the, the needed changes have been made and that things are good again. So last but not least, but not really last, is the uh, Twisby Go with a nice broad nib with Noodler's Habanero. And this is where I started realizing, oh, I think I selected some inks that are kind of close. Um, so Twisby, that was me being in a hurry. Twisby Go Clear. Broad nib, noodlers. I think this was this was a sample. I may have gotten more than one sample, but one came from Pen Friend uh, Frederick. See, my memory does okay with some things, and with others, it just j jumbles them, everything up. And I, I there's several Pen Friends that are likely in terms of certain of these brands where, I, and then I I'm like I just don't want to make a mistake. Okay, so that's nice. It's a beautiful kind of warm orange. Just, oh, I love it. But let's look at those. Let's see. Now, first we're going to look at this, which I don't have the tile for. But this is Noodler's um, Heart of Darkness in the Jen Hao 
X159. So I think just because I know myself, it's probably going to end up, you know, I'm going to end up talking about this, but I feel that the nib needs work. <clears throat> so what I noticed is um, if I if I give it a little pressure, I'm getting a wider line, and if I don't, I'm not, and it, and it just it drove me nuts, but I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, it's a fine nib, and it's a number eight nib. Okay, that's interesting. It's it's actually not going to do what it was doing, of course, for you, because then I would I would that way I can look like an idiot. <laughs> no. Noodlers, well, maybe it is. Is if I let up on pressure, I get much less uh, heart of darkness. It's my favorite black, and not only that, but if I have anything go on with a pen with this, I know that <clears throat> it's likely to be the nib because I know how this ink behaves at least. It's quite wet. See, I don't know. I Wow, okay. That put down a lot, and then sometimes it doesn't. Okay, but we that's for the progress report. We'll go ahead and just let that be. And then uh, the next thing I was going to do is just kind of look at the colors all at once. So I'm going to have to fix this set a little bit. <laughs> okay, so here's all of our ink colors, um, except for the Heart of Darkness, which is pure black. And it's filed away somewhere, so I'm not really wanting to go dig for it right now. But I will have that tile out when I do the progress report. And hopefully uh, by then I would have figured out... Um, you know, what my dysfunction is or the pen's dysfunction um, before I do the progress report. But yeah, so I did end up picking three that were, I mean, this says golden brown, but it kind of, it, it goes over into, uh, not orange maybe, but yeah, it does in a way. So, and then habanero, which is kind of the brightest of them. And then the deeper, this, this one, the golden aspen reminds me of like a burned orange. Uh, when it's in person. Right now it's a little bit brightening up. And then I just love Purple Mountain Majesties. Um, most of you know that I'm, I love pens, but I'm in it for the inks and the colors. I really am. I mean, I, you know, like if I had to choose uh, just a couple of pens and a lot of inks or, um, you know, uh, tons of pens and only a few inks, <laughs> it would be the lots of inks and very few pens. As long as I could get my nibs that I like, my broad nibs and so on. Um, and yet, I guess I, I'm so lucky I haven't had to make that choice because I just, I'm really lucky and blessed with pen friends and, and ad revenue to get things. So anyway, speaking of blessings, I have a new pen case, which I didn't purchase. And that's why there'll be a little tag somewhere on here that says, paid promotion even though it's not like that it, it's just that if if a youtuber receives an item um you know from a, a, a retailer like that for free and, and you feature it on your channel i mean it kind of you know uh, there's a line there but it's definitely that i believe you you're supposed to um use that so let me get that out and we'll load it up with my eight pens and then that'll be it for this video so here it is. It's a Rickshaw Sinclair R um, in the Mandarin Orange, I think is the color. And it's just gorgeous. I, it's just, oh my gosh. It came in at a moment where, yeah, I was pretty much at my lowest there with the loss of Willie. But it, I wanted in the past an orange Sinclair, which it seems like it's a unicorn or maybe I made it up in my head and they don't really exist, but I never could find one. <laughs> and... Uh, most likely it was just something that I, I totally missed, that's all, from uh, when when uh, Nock was selling them. So this has got the orange on the interior, and uh, of course it's a collaboration type project with rickshaw bags and uh, Nock. So we're going to put my pens in, see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing I always do is pick which ones are going to go in dedicated um, spots. So I definitely want this metal pen to go there. So it doesn't scratch anything. And then, um, yeah, the little Mont Blanc, yeah, that's that's pretty important, I guess. Or 
Well, they're all important. <clears throat> very much. Oh, I need to go get a, a two-pan koozie. I'm thinking just to keep it in place from clunking anything else, I'll go ahead and you put the Jen Hal uh, 159. L let me get a, a koozie. I need a koozie. Well, it turns out I had to rob my other uh, Sinclair that's still being, uh, the pens are being used up, of the two-pan koozie because the only other one I have a two-pen is a uh, the Harris Tweed purple, and I think this is more appropriate. So I'm going to put, uh, okay, and then it starts getting real. Well, yeah, I believe in keeping metal pens kind of separated. So that'll go right in the middle, and it will form a nice, uh, a nice system here. And there's room for expansion because once I put my three over here, there's still really nice room for one on each side. So, oh, I was just I was just stunned and happy and excited. Thank you so much to Mark for sending this. I couldn't believe it. I I got this cryptic kind of question about, um, you know, which color. Uh, anyway, and then I answered, but and I thought, oh. And I was just in the middle of too much to really think that through. And next thing I knew, my mail contained a beautiful orange. Um, gosh, I, I wish the color would show a little bit more true. Uh, it's just brightening it up a little bit. But isn't that nice, the contrast there? And, of course, you've got room for, your, for anything you want to do in the outer pocket. So that is Chris's October inked pens. And um, it's all going to be noodlers. And I will come back with a um, progress report. Actually, I have a lot of bottles of Noodler's Ink. Um, yeah, I really love them. I don't uh, like to get involved in anything controversial, but I have loved them from the beginning uh, for the affordability. And you do have to be careful because some of their permanent ones are, um, are mighty... Um, <laughs> I don't even know what the words to use. So they're not all created equally. But um, the ones that I have here, <clears throat> with the exception I'm not as familiar with that one. Um, Golden Brown has a lot of water resistance, but I don't, I didn't have any trouble cleaning it out. And all the rest of these are, are uh, very um, typical fountain pen inks. The, like the only two that show a degree, a large degree of water resistance are this one, this one, and then of course... Uh, the Heart of Darkness, which unfortunately I'm not quite sure where that tile is. Well, let me get it. It's got to be here somewhere. Okay, that saves me from having to find it later anyway. And um, so Noodler's Heart of Darkness. So these three have that um, uh, great degree of water resistance. Uh, this one most of all and, and this one. And then I will work with this one to see. Um, I haven't written with it as much, especially since I got a full bottle of it. Um, I, you'd think I'd be more familiar. But I will be back with that uh, progress report. In the meantime, um, take care and thank you so much for all of your lovely um, care, concern, messages and, and uh, you know, prayers and everything for us all. C Coco and Princess and, and Manuel and I are, are doing okay and we're just missing Willie, that's all. We're missing him awful, and that's not going to go away. So um, that's just something we, we have to try to adjust to. So I will see you on the next video, and bye for now. <clears throat>